Welcome back to the Lost and Top Podcast. Take it away, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great job, Nate. <laughs> Woo! That was a good Best one. Intro he's ever Best done. intro yet. For real. What the dog doing? What the dog, well, what doing? The dog doing? Well, <laughs> as brilliant. you may be able to tell, we are missing someone today. <laughs> this actually isn't Nate. This actually... <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> is not Nate. I mean, it's it's hard to believe, but what do you mean he's him. right there, standing in a yard? That's true. <laughs> he's he's recording even, outside even with his dog. his dog today. He's brought a friend. Oh but man, Nate, that's a lovely dog, by the way. That's a lovely dog. It is. If you ever hear this, that's a lovely dog. Surely Nate will watch the episode he's not in, right? No way. <laughs> Brax has been in two episodes and, and hasn't not watched, watched either of them. of them. He hasn't watched any of them. Unless Brax has talked about since how, then. Brax has talked about how he needs to buy merch because he could he should at least do that if he's not going to watch the videos. <laughs> is what he said. And I was like, that's fair. That is, that's I feel funny. like that's a fair. That's a that's fair, fair trade off. <laughs> but uh, speaking of, hold on real quick. Who yep. bought merch recently? Tom Tippery, Nate's father. Okay. That's, that's, that's just in my PayPal account. I was like, oh, nice. I got like, some money. Jeff, you know don't Jeff? spend the podcast money. You know what, Jeff? Matter of fact, I'm going to buy merch on this on this recording right now. As we're speaking, <laughs> As I'm going to we're buy merch. Buying merch live. Look at me, buying merch. <laughs> Except we can't it's see just it. an ape. I'm, uh, you're right, it is just an ape, but an ape that has a credit card. <laughs> but, what happens. as you, you can tell, yeah, we gave an ape a credit card, and we sent Nate to Massachusetts. Uh, he was, he's out there spreading the good word of Lost in Thought podcast. <laughs> and by we sent him, we mean his actual work, where he actually gets paid. <laughs> sent him to Massachusetts, and he was going to join us, but his flight got delayed, and so he did not join us. So he says. Yep, so he says. I'll have to fact check that later. Yeah, for real. And then, we also invited Eric, and he still couldn't join us, even on a remote broadcast. Amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile, I took this fight with five minutes notice. <laughs> Tyler joined the Discord as we were sitting here, ready to record, and he's like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" And I'm like, "You wanted to record the podcast with us." And so and Tyler said, yes. has rejoined us once again, except this time without a camera as an ape to record the podcast. I've so really, been... it's not that much different. <laughs> I've always been an ape. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> just this time, he doesn't have a camera. It's just a still picture. But uh, hey, Tyler... we have a... We back to the... Whatever it's called today? Mad Lib? What? We're yeah. getting mad at living. We're getting mad at living. <laughs> just pull right. up our Mad Lib. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. So oh is, no! So this is my evil plan to take over the world. Tyler, what's an adjective? Purple. Gosh dang it. I can't use <laughs> we that always one later. Say purple. It's always the first one that we say. Hey, like this time they can actually see the Mad Lib as we're working on it. Uh, Jeff, is it you or me? You go to you. Me. Um... To, let's just, I don't know. It's, it's like, an action word. I know what it is. I was trying to be creative, <laughs> but I have failed my creativity. And I'm just going to go with run. Desk mat? Let's go. Yeah, I was going to tell Mound you there's a desk mat on there. <laughs> Nate? Yeah, that's, I mean, dog. it's proper, but <laughs> dog. What the dog doing? What the dog oh, doing? Tyler gets another adjective. No, uh, we'll, it's, we'll it's do... me. Oh, you're going uh, reverse? What? Wait, I thought you did dog. Oh, Nate did dog. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm understanding oh, that. <laughs> Adjective. Let's see. Um, you can do it, Jeff. 
to us. Oh no. The stream quality has disappeared. What? No. It's all right. I'll fix Impossible. it one second. Oh no. It didn't fix it. Madtakes.com slash libs slash 69. Well, <laughs> we mostly fit. Oh no, Jeff. We're in shambles. It's all right. We'll keep going. It'll fix. We'll keep going. Uh, Tyler, what's a plural so now? Trumpets. Trumpets. Nice. Brian, adjective. Adjective. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Fluffy. All right. What's what's an adjective that describes Nate? That's what we'll do for his part. Handsome. <laughs> All right. Handsome. Um, me company. Uh, this is great. I can't see. It. Type of place, Tyler. A type of place? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Chinese restaurant. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Number Brian. I'll be. I won't pick the one that we use every time. Seven. What is a number that describes Nate? Sixty-nine. 69. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Noun plural. Um. Let's see. How about Kringle cans? <laughs> Adverb, Tyler. Adverb? Yeah. Um, 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 uh, words? Um, uh, <laughs> uh running, running, jumping, flying. <laughs> None of those are right. Fly. Um, 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 adverb. I forget what this is. Something that describes a verb. So, like, quickly running. Quickly would be an adverb. Uh, I was there. I was there. I was just you were close. My tongue, you know? By the way, I put the order in. I got the desk mat and it, the lost Ape hot Boy team. has purchased desk mat and one other merch from store. <laughs> Dude, I just got a PayPal. <laughs> the caption says, uh, the message says, I love you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Ape Boy. We'll do hastily for the adverb. Hey, there we go. Nice, that's a good one. Brian, adjective? Uh, dang it. Purple's already taken. Uh, overweight. Brian really looked in the mirror for a second. <laughs> <laughs> looked at the camera? <laughs> Hey, All right, <laughs> Jeff. After we finish putting all these in, in the stream, and then reopen it again. Okay. Verb ending in ing describing Nate. Nate. Um. Um. Charming. Yeah. There we go. Washbuckling. <laughs> so washbuckling. <laughs> we'll go with charming. <laughs> Verbing in I ing swashbuckling. There it is. Swashbuckling. Still got to use. I don't even know it. what it means. Verb Tyler. Uh, running, jumping, flying, 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 flying. It will do flying. Verb ending in ed, Brian. Gosh dang it! Brian gets this one every time. Dude. Um... <laughs> it's wild. So a verb is that you said? Verb ending. Yeah. Ending? Um, cooked. You mean cake? No, I <laughs> meant cooked. <laughs> Occupation plural that describes me. Engineers. Uh, models? Models. Oh, there models. we go. 
Noun. This is just a um, letter to name. Yeah. <laughs> Noun. Um. Oh shoot. No, don't want to do that. I can only think of. Um. Uh, oh, it fixed itself. The stream fixed itself. Oh, thank goodness! I can put Eesh. it back to the way it was now. <laughs> Noun. Um. Plastic bag. Event plural. Tyler. Uh, we will do tournaments. Tournaments. Noun plural. Brian. Now, uh. Doctors. Something you hate doing, Nate. Ah! <laughs> I see it. I see it. Uh, Does Nate hate doing? Yeah. Uh, Nate hates. Feeding that dog. He, he <laughs> hates being not handsome all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he hates being not handsome. <laughs> He hates, uh, 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 we will go with marriage. No, no, <laughs> I like that. Are we, is that it? Lock it. <laughs> We can't. We can't. That would be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be very wrong. Uh, <laughs> Something he hates doing. We'll do chores. He doesn't like chores. You know. You know how no it goes. No one likes chores. And the classic. <laughs> classic chores. You know how chores go. <laughs> you have to do them, and then it's not fun. Tyler noun. Um, cactus. Nice. Good one. <laughs> Just Cactus. Cactus. Cactuis? Sound Brian. Oof. <laughs> mm, all right. I'll allow it. Verb Nate. Smoldering. <laughs> He smoldered. <laughs> Too small. He smoldered. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> State. Massachusetts. Um, Indiana. <laughs> um, let's see. How about Montana? Good thing you didn't say Wyoming. I would have disputed that. That's not a real place. True. Famous person, Tyler. Willem Dafoe. How do you spell that again? I don't think it's... Let me Google it. Is it actually it? Willem or is it William? Well, everybody... It's Willem. W-I-L-L-E-M. Is it D... D-A-F-O-E? D-A-F-O-E, -E. gotcha. Uh, Willem Dafoe when Won't You Aren't a Friend walks in. <laughs> 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 All right, Brian. Verb again. Sleeping. All right, Nate. What's a fraction? Three quarters. Yep. <laughs> Verb. Hey, this is a long one, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be good. Noun Tyler. Uh, duct tape. Adverb Brian. Uh, I don't remember. What was the other adverb I already used? There was hastily. There hasn't been another adverb. Okay. Oh, I didn't use fluffy. Oh, no, you did. Oh, no, wait. That's a. Uh... 
that even an adverb? That's not. That's, that's an just adjective. an adjective. That's an adjective. Yeah. Uh, Idiot. Uh, I can't think of any. Just go with quickly or whatever we said earlier as an example. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> um, stokingly. That's not quickly. That's it's better. Right. Noun that describes Nate. Uh. Noun. Noun that describes. Person. Person. There you go. He is person. <laughs> he is a person. He is person. We'll say he's a stud. Okay. Personality trait. Quirky. Um, what? Quirky. I'm so quirky. <laughs> go mad! Go mad! <laughs> Let's go, Let's go, go mad! mad. First off, thanks printer friendly. friendly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do I have to read it because it yes, might go I crazy? Believe. I want to read it. I want to read. Let me read it. <laughs> I, say, I am yeah. Doctor Purple. I am destined to run the dog. Unfortunately, the dog is full of a bunch of sus trumpets that do not agree. <laughs> so this is my fluffy plan to take over the dog. To start with, I'll need to build up my handsome hideout in an abandoned <laughs> Estes Freightliners <laughs> in the middle of the Chinese restaurant. It will have seven underground floors and only 69 <laughs> floors above ground. <laughs> All the only. Cans will open hastily and address me as the great and overweight Dr. <laughs> <laughs> I will also have several rooms designed for charming and swashbuckling anyone who tries to flying at me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's gone! <laughs> that is, after I have cooked the full extent of my fluffy plan to them. Next, I will hire some models to design the Plastic Bag Buster, a machine designed to trigger huge tournaments wherever I want it to. And if they don't want to build it, I will capture their doctors and threaten to make them chew for hours on end. Once it's built, I will have it sprinted along the San Andreas Cactus. Ma oof, 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 oof. Obviously, you smolder. I can hold the governor of Montana, Willem Dafoe, against the threat of sleeping three quarters of the state into the ocean. And once I have control of Montana, I will slay the duct tape industry into promoting my right to run the dog and soakingly all will succumb to my stud and quirky. My stud and quirky. <laughs> oh, I love these. They're so oh, good. That's, that might be one of the best ones. That was a great one. That's incredible. Oh. Doctor, the great Doctor Purple. The overweight Doctor Purple. The great and overweight Dr. Purple. All right, that Jeff. Was a good one. That was a I good liked one. That. Can I save that? Yeah. I'm just going to take a picture yeah, of my screen really fast. Take a picture of your screen. Uh, everyone in the watching the <laughs> podcast, take a picture of your screen right now that and post good. it in our Twitter replies. It was the great long. and overweight Dr. Purple. Dude, the great and overweight Dr. Purple <laughs> is sick, dude. Also, I will also have several rooms designed for charming and swashbuckling like, anyone. Anyone. Anyone who tries to flying me. He will swashbuckle <laughs> anyone that comes his way. Uh, and then it says, it will have seven underground floors, but an only, only 69, 69 above. floors above ground. I like, I can hold the governor of Montana, William, William Defoe, Defoe, against the threat of sleeping three quarters of the state into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> William Defoe, uh, the governor of Montana. Boy, uh, oof, 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 oof. Is that like his evil laugh? Just oof. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Oh, man, woof, that's funny. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> What? Whoa! Well, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my fantasy chat. All right, all right. All Speaking right. of your fantasy chat, Jeff, how did yeah. your fantasy football week go this week? Week one of the football season. 
Uh, by the way, if anybody wants that picture, uh, there is now something on your screen that you can scan and go get it. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Let me scan it. Let me scan it. Wait, is it the picture of Nate or is it the picture? Of... The picture of Nate. <laughs> I, I I now have this picture of Nate. Did it work? Him. It did. Did it work? Incredible. And photos. <laughs> I have it now. That's high quality too. <laughs> Create like, QR code for this page. Look, you can get. Oh, we did it! Get <laughs> Wait, let the man oh, take. Try let it. Let me scan it. We gotta test this. Oh, for the it content. doesn't show the. It doesn't show the complete one. It just shows the. Uh, oh, yes, you're right. Just, it, I know. You can make your own though. Why would you want to make your own? <laughs> you have our genius, true, hilarious, already complete. Evil plan to take over the world ad lib. Uh, Wait, Jeff, copy that. Jeff, copy yeah. that and post yeah. it in the Discord, please, so Nate can read it. Yeah, copy the whole thing. Oh, but Jeff, you won your week one fantasy <laughs> football, right? Um, yes, or I believe so. Nice. I won one and lost one, and I lost one by a lot. Pain. Yeah, Let me it see. was rough. I don't play fantasy football. This is Jeff's first year, right, dude? Um, yeah. We had, we had an idea last week, but we weren't able to pull it off because we thought of it on Wednesday and the season started on Thursday that we should have put one in the Discord and had a Discord fantasy football draft with everyone that doesn't know a whole lot about fantasy football and just done it anyway and, like, Made you draft punters and stuff just for fun. So yeah. here's <clears throat> the only experience I have playing fantasy football. I had Le'Veon Bell when he was still a superstar. Yeah. He was still really good. And he pretty much carried me to a couple wins, but I don't remember anything else after that. Yeah, I won a league last year on the back of Derrick Henry. That was pretty nice. Big back. Big boy. Yeah, he has a lot of a lot of back to carry my entire fantasy team on, so it worked out. Didn't he have like a super good season last year? He had like four. Yeah, he yards. led the he led the uh like the first league and yeah, he got hurt for a while but then he came back by the end of the year. But he uh he by it was like week I don't know, he'd been out for like four or five weeks and he was still leading the league in rushing. That's insane. And he hadn't played in four or five weeks. That's Honestly, and then crazy. Jonathan Taylor ended up running away with it from the Colts, but they're both really, really good. I was going to say, isn't John Jonathan Taylor, he plays for the Colts. Yeah, but... Yeah, so... No. In, in, other other news, in other news of Indiana sports, uh, rookie Tyler Gray for the Indiana Pacers broke the three-point record <laughs> uh, in his first game. Debut. Rookie debut, hit 20. As you can hey. tell, Tyler has installed the new 2K23 game. <laughs> it's great, dude. I, I'm I'm really liking it. I haven't played this one, but I will say that I've seen highlights and people playing it, and some of the dribble moves you can do now look real oh, oh, cool. Yeah. It yeah, looks, uh, yeah. This year definitely feels like a next-gen 2K. Last year didn't yeah. really feel do that Do you play it on PS5? Yeah. Yeah, see, the unfortunate part about it is the next gen port right like so you know how they make the console like the game version for next gen and then the versions for ps4 and whatever yeah. it, the the version on p on pc right now available on steam and everything is the ps4 version they don't have the next gen version on pc that's so sad yeah it was jeff was gonna buy it i'm pretty sure like he was gonna you were yeah. gonna pre-order it like last week weren't you yeah and yeah. then I didn't because I saw that it was a current gen port. Now with 2K22, that would have been fine because everybody liked the current gen version or the last gen version more than current gen. But this year, I guess a lot of the like real YouTube guys that play it, they're all saying that next gen is the wave. So yeah, I saw. Like, nice. I've seen a lot of good things about it. I saw that like the shooting is. They said it borders on like almost too realistic with how good players are at shooting today, where it's like almost automatic sometimes with certain players. Yeah. They said like it'll probably get balanced, but like it's a lot better than the last couple of years where it felt nearly impossible. Oh 
yeah, yeah. they have this the literally. Dude, they finally did something for the association people, like the people that play. Hey, that's and they, me. They're like, yeah, Winston is a big guy for that, and he just got a PS5, and this is his first experience with like a next gen game. And he, there's eras you could play in. I think it's like the Larry Bird era. You can play in the Jordan era, the Kobe era, and then you can play present day. But the cool thing is, is there's like era filters, so. When you're playing all the way back in, like, let's say Larry Bird, the screen looks like it's coming from an old school, like, television broadcasting station. Oh, that's awesome. It's that's very, cool. very cool. And even the font, the way that everything looks, the courts, everything is very cool. And then Larry like, just punches Bill Lambie. <laughs> facts. He does that every game. They start throwing hands. <laughs> yeah. But I and, no, the... and no one's ejected. Yeah, and they also brought back the the Jordan challenge from like 2K11. Yeah. And so I I played the first game and it was when he was at UNC versus I think Georgetown. And That's it was cool. it was really really cool cuz like <laughs> with the era filter on, it just looks it looks like you're watching the game in real time from like That's the cool. 80s. That's awesome. So I, I I'm glad to see cool. that they put new stuff in it cuz some of those sports games like Madden and 2K no. the last few years have been getting real repetitive. No. Oh yeah. I it, haven't it, heard much about the new Madden, but I heard the Madden is bad. Yeah, that's like what, real, real bad. That's unfortunately how it's kind of been for a few years now. It feels like. Yeah. Where it's, it, it it's, almost kind of feels like uh, like 2K is listening to their main audience more now than EA cares about anything. That's true. Because EA is just, you know, not good. They've made the <laughs> same game every single year for like the past 10 years, and then they just keep rebranding it with updated rosters, and it's like, all right, dude. Like, you, you hey, gotta maybe, just maybe, we try something different. Yeah, I I don't know, man. It, it's. <laughs> I think well, it they keep be- buying it. <laughs> EA might be a little bit too far gone because I mean they released Battlefield 2042 and that's a steaming pile. That was pretty bad. Crap! It's like literally the worst game I think I've ever played in my life. I uh, had a 10-hour demo and I thank the Lord that I had it because I decided to play the full 10-hour demo before that I ever decided to, if I bought it or not. And I would have bought it because Nate bought it and was like super hyped for it, and I uninstalled it like five hours into the demo and i'm like i can't do this it's just so bad like they i don't know man i i think they had a cool a couple cool features in that game but like overall it was just really 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 bad and a lot of bugs on release but that seems like it's the norm (laughs) these days i don't know i don't know what it is with game companies and just releasing games with tons of bugs at launch but that just seems Uh. like that's how it is and it kind of makes me upset yeah it's at launch yeah for sure i mean there's been some games that didn't even make it survive launch with how bad they've been in the last couple of years I mean, True. cyberpunk is a great example of jeff you don't bad... have to stream that anymore by the way we're done with it oh, okay oh my goodness oh god of how bad uh how bad a game could be at launch but like i don't know man it's Pretty but much. yeah, it's I say it's been I mean Cyberpunk at launch was historically about as bad as you could have done. Yeah. Uh I mean Saints Row just released and it's getting some it's getting hammered in the reviews. Uh Nate was excited for that one, but he was gone so we hadn't played it. Yeah, it's it's bad. I would not recommend anybody to get it. I haven't played it myself, but I've seen all of my friends who played it say it's just terrible. Which is unfortunate, because that seems to be a growing trend where people are like rushing to get games out right now, or like yeah. they feel pressure that they have to get it out right now, which is at least the one thing that I makes me feel a little bit confident about Overwatch 2, is that it's taken 17 years, it feels like, to roll out. But even then, I did you guys see the... I don't think I texted you guys about it. I texted Nate about it. Did you see the Overwatch the 2 Overwatch 2 announcement the other day? did not that the not all heroes when introduced will be available 
you had to unlock them. That's cool. And you don't you well you don't unlock them for free. Uh, they're on they're on the pay. battle pass. Oh my and, god. But is Lucio free? Yeah. But the uh Woo-hoo! so the the uh they're on the battle pass, but they had they said that there is a free version of the battle pass where you can unlock them, but they would not confirm what level you would unlock them. So it might have to be you have to grind to like level fifty or a hundred of the battle pass to be able to unlock that character. My guess is typically the And if way it's that they if it's it, like a meta breaking character, then you're yeah. you're stuck without it, that person then, until then we could consider it pay to win. Yes. Because... Then it that that was the issue yeah. is it was bordering on pay to win. Dude, it's and just, I'm like, that's a, a unfortunate like, announcement. That's, like, that's... hopefully they. I I think that at least with a game like Overwatch Two, the public outlash if they do launch it that way would be big enough that they would fix it or yeah. adjust their format. But then again, it's Blizzard, and I put nothing past them because you know you never you never really know anymore with Blizzard. Exactly. Uh, and I mean, that's just. It's just so sad the state of gaming we're in today. It's just like everyone's Well, it's just... everyone rushes for they're rushing yeah. for content right now and there aren't a lot of games that take their time and release which that's, to be fair is I'm probably playing, the like... it's probably the fault of Fortnite, but that they're the ones that do it well. So Yeah, they do it great and like I love playing Fortnite. I still play Fortnite. I was going to play Fortnite after this <laughs> with Britain. <laughs> but yeah, it's I say it's like a uh there, it, everyone's trying to adapt that business model, but whatever internal structure that Epic has to make that work, not ever uh, every other company clearly has, and it's not working in the ways that they appear to have intended it to work. I think that yeah. the way that most people should do a battle pass is like you put skins on the battle pass. You put stuff yes. that's not important to the game, not game altering yes. at all. Like I feel like putting a hero on the battle pass is just a that's slippery paid. slope it's to pay to, pay to win. win. Yes. It's pay to win. And that's all it is. And there's there's no other way to put it. You are literally barring certain certain people who already paid for your game that should have access yeah. to all of the content, just like everybody else. They shouldn't have to pay more. They're greedy. They're money hungry. That's just the way it is these days for certain companies. But like for Call of Duty, their battle pass is just skins. Yeah. And Call of Duty had one of the worst uh battle passes ever with advanced warfare you had to pay money to get different gun variations so you yeah, could win. I remember that. yeah and i'm like this is literally pay to win this is it's exactly what it is but yeah i mean that pay to win like i feel like companies are having issues like uh balancing that pay to win feeling and also still trying to like find a battle pass system that works because they don't want to some uh, some they don't have like the cosmetics that Fortnite and Call of Duties have and so they try to put like characters or heroes on there and then it's like well yeah. you know now you've that doesn't work on a battle pass yeah or then like Apex where they have a battle pass but it takes eighteen thousand years to level it up yeah I mean that's, it's that's, so that's slow true. and I tell you what Fortnite really does have the the recipe for success on the battle pass aspect because oh, and yeah. even their store items. Because, like, every time I get on the game, I check the item shop, and I have, like, 3,000 V-Bucks always just stored away, just in case I see a funny dance that I want to (laughs) get. Because, like, it's it's just fun, man. It's just, like, so whenever you get the dub, you can flex on somebody by doing the the Dougie or something. Yeah, so you do it. You gotta gotta do that TikTok dance. Yeah, and it's funny. And they also have it well enough that there's so many that... Whenever there is that one that rarely comes around, like you literally have to buy it because you know it's not coming like, back around. Yeah, like you, 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 yeah, you have that feeling. Like I literally have to pay nine ninety nine right now to get a thousand V bucks and buy That's, this. Exactly, and and like they have forced you that, like they are holding <laughs> you hostage. Like pay it, pay, pay the it. price, do it, Dude, do it now. It's crazy. It's crazy because <laughs> I'm such a consumer. Yeah. Like every time I see a funny dance at Fortnite, I'm just like, V Bucks now. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm like, I it, must it do it. But, I haven't played I mean, a ton like, this season, but I've logged way too many hours. Like it, a lot it, a lot of hours. 
it's insane. And, and I like how they the first yeah. year it came out, I remember looking at my uh what is it? The PlayStation Rewind thing? Where it shows you your hours and everyone was talking about how they had like a few hundred hours in like Fortnite and they're like, Wow, look at this, look at how many you hours 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 I have in Fortnite and you know, I'm like, That's a lot of hours. That's a few hundred hours, right? Like that's that's you know, a lot of that's like days worth of hours. Like I and I had looked at it and I had fifteen hundred hours. Oh my god. I fifteen hundred. I'm like, oh my goodness. I want. I wish that there was a way that I could see like a rewind of like my real life and what I spend my time doing like on a daily basis. Like, how much time do I spend looking at things to? Uh, I don't know. Looking at things to buy, but never actually buy them on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm just like, yo, this would be cool if I bought an entire armor set from a knight from like yeah. a long time ago. I do that on Amazon, but I do it with like my uh, setup stuff. Yeah, like all this stuff in my room, and I just keep yeah. buying <laughs> stuff for my setup. And I'm like, I need to stop. Like I have this glowing red mic in front of me that I can mute by touching it. Oh, that was cool. That's yeah, very cool. it was like entirely that. worth it. I saw it on the internet the other day, and it, like it went on sale at Best Buy. It was like eighty some bucks or something, and I'm like, all right, I'm buying it. It's down twenty bucks. And I'm like. Deal, you got me. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's how I used to be with like gaming PCs because you know how atrocious my old one was. It was yeah. just so bad. But like, I would just sit there and I would dream about it. I'd be like, one day I'll be <laughs> able to get a thirty sixty Ti graphics card to be able to play games. But now that I actually have it, I'm just like, this is amazing. And it was everything I had hoped for. <laughs> that's exactly this thing. that's it's exactly beautiful. what happened when we built PCs. I remember the conversation. It was funny because it was like a joke conversation. Yeah, because that was before we had started the channel and everything, and we got, uh, because then we got reconnected with you when we started the channel and started playing, because we all had PCs at that point. And uh, well, we we literally started like a conversation talking about like we were all gonna build PCs, and Nate's like, "Well, if you guys build PCs, send me your builds, because I'll also build a PC." And I'm like, "Well, now we gotta do it." I'm like to. I'm like now we're all on board now now we have to build it build them and, and now yeah. now we all have good PCs so now yes. all of us can play good games other than Muck and yeah, whatever true. else we would play <laughs> Muck is a good game though shout out quality Muck. game dude Just the Risk of Rain uh, Risk of Rain two video like doubled in viewers the other day Jeez. I gotta incredible. get my pizza we're you're, going you're in, making though. pizza while we're filming a podcast. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna go heat up some pizza, but then you said podcast, so but I'm here. The, uh, yeah, that was a solid little gaming conversation that we just had. That was a good conversation. Good gaming conversation. Oh. I mean, that's what game. happens when you start talking about something you're passionate about, and I mean, all of us have been playing video games for probably the majority of our lives. Yeah, a long time. And like the past couple years have just been absolutely horrid like it's so bad it just i mean there's nothing i mean nothing big new coming like nothing no big new games coming out it feels like other than uh the newest cod and it kind of sucked so i'm excited for cod i am uh, the new one I'm pumped. It, I'm. It's gonna be going crazy. Yeah. God is one out. of the. So like, I'm not a big solo gamer. Like, I yeah, I play with people, but COD is one of the games that I will absolutely just sit in there and solo grind, grind because it's mindless. Like, you can just go over and over again. Like, it's, it it's doesn't crazy matter. How, and they've cracked the formula for multiplayer fun by yourself because yes. you don't have to have a team. But like yes. I would, I cannot play Overwatch by myself. I can't I do it. I lose my absolute mind. Oh, it's the most frustrating everyone. experience. And in... everybody's so dumb, and then you yes. get flamed because they're doing. And we're both, different. we both, uh, hosed ourselves right off the beginning of our accounts, and we got ourselves hard yeah. stuck, and so we're we're in silver, and we feel like we play a little bit better than most silvers. We probably don't. We probably just suck. That's probably what it is. So but, I there was like a stint where yeah. I was doing my my five placement or however yes. many placement games it is. I got gold damage. I got fifty limbs with soldier, <laughs> gold healing, gold everything. I had all gold medals, and it still put me in silver. I was like, dog, 
Why is your system like this? <laughs> you should do it every season, and your last season should have nothing to do with it because your last <laughs> season should teach you. But no, okay, your last season, play. it's based off of your entire ranking system is based off of your last season. And after I figured that out, after you told me that, I yep. didn't play another rank. Game. I had no, I had, that's what killed my motivation to grind it too, is that I just wanted to play it more, but I didn't want to do it solo. And Nate gets off to go to bed at 8 p.m. And so, I'm, real. and so I'm like, well, I guess I'll just grind something else. And, yeah. but like, I mean, I remember I got like, I got like diamond almost everything in like Modern Warfare. And I even had him in. What was after Modern Warfare? It was a, it was a Vanguard. Cold War? It was Cold War, I think. Okay, yeah, it was Cold War. And then this one's Vanguard, right? The newest one. Yeah, yeah this yeah. one out right now is Vanguard. I didn't play Vanguard other than I played like I the betas play. and the I played the alphas and the betas with Nate, and we didn't even buy it. And then, uh, yeah, it was Cold War. I have like diamond. I have like diamond, whatever it is. I guess uh, it's platinum in Modern Warfare, right? Or yeah, you get plaid on stuff. Yeah. Um, but I but like those what, were just solo, solo. I would just queue and then I'd play. I then you know, and then I'd finish and queue again. And I'm like, might as well. Like, this especially isn't, uh, well, you can do it solo. I, that that brings good. me back, dude, because I was still in the army in 2019, and mm -hmm. so like when I would have a really really bad day at work, I would come home and do. MW 2019 was like what it's probably. I mean, it's a great card, dude. It came it came in clutch, bro. Because every day I would come home from work after getting yelled at for something <laughs> stupid, and then you know it's just trash. Being in the army sucks. But COD MW 2019, I would get home, play the game. I'd turn on my Spotify. I'd listen to music, and you could not upset me from like five o'clock <laughs> till ten. Because I was just busy playing COD. Like, I was just having fun by myself. <laughs> I didn't have any friends on. I was just playing. Just chilling. I got Jeff just <laughs> sat down with a whole pan of pizza and a <laughs> bottle of ranch. Yeah, that's standard operating procedure <laughs> yeah. for eating pizza. But oh, another yeah. game coming out that I'm super hype about, God of War Ragnarok. I don't know if you guys play any. See, God of I War, have but... I've I have them and I just haven't played them because I claimed them all when they were the PlayStation games of the month. All the, yeah. And so I claimed them all. I just haven't played them because after I beat my built my PC, I quite literally haven't touched my PlayStation. They're definitely they're some of the greatest games I've ever played. The old ones are good, but the new one sent it to a different level. Just because I heard like, the new one was great. Oh, dude, it was it was enough to make a grown man cry. <laughs> there was a couple times where I was like, well, "This is some sad." Did stuff. you? Uh, is that like a, a? What are your favorite uh, like franchises of all? Like, or I guess maybe not even franchises, just like games in general. Favorite games? Oh, I'll probably give you like a top five list. Yeah, but that this works. Is always changing, and it's always like morphing. Yep. I wouldn't. I would say probably uh, Black Ops Two. So um, I'll say Halo Three ODST. See, that's unfortunate for me. I never got to play Halo. I had a PlayStation the whole time. Uh, I went. Well, no, it. not not Halo Three ODST. Just Halo Three. Just straight up Halo Three. Gotcha. Um, Red Dead Redemption Two, which you haven't played, but you really should. I've played the really, first one, but really, not the second really, one. Really, really worth it. The second one blows the first one out of the water. It's a way better game. <laughs> um, I'll say Gears of War Three. So now I'm up to four. Yep. Oh man, this is rough. There's so many good games that I've played in my lifetime. Eh, screw it. I'll say. Black Ops One. Black Ops One. That's a great game. See, my favorite. I love. I love Black Ops uh, One and Two both. But my favorite COD is MW Two, because that's like the first one that really introduced me to COD. Yeah. And so, like, I fell in love with it playing it. It. I used to play it at, like the first time I played it. I played it at Nate's, I believe, and I used to play it with Nate on. Uh, I remember playing like Rust one v one with like pistols only or whatever at Nate's house. It's always so much fun playing yeah. last one. Yeah, and stuff like that. So, like, that was, like, the first one. I remember playing the story mode and the 
getting betrayed and all that. It was. Oh yeah, that yeah. that game had a really good story. Yeah, the but campaign was incredible. I will say this: out of my top five, Red Dead Two, best game I've ever played. It's my number one. It will my, always be my number one. My number one is The Last of Us. That's a I love The Last of Us. I was I played that one with my me and my dad. I think played it through, and that's awesome. Yeah, it was. It was dope. I borrowed it from Zach Bruno. He gave it to me. He gave me his disc, and he's like, "Play this. It's awesome." And I'm like, "Yes, sir. I believe you." And so I went home and I played it through with my dad, and it was in fact incredible. They're making an HBO series. Off the Wish last that list, I and could. I hope that they do it. Pedro Pedro Pascal is gonna be in. He's gonna play yeah. Joel in it. Yes, he that is. That guy is amazing. He is a really really good actor. Yes, and you is. know what? You know what's crazy? I don't know why this made me think of Game of Thrones. Oh, probably because he's in it. Yeah, but probably. also Game <laughs> of Thrones. There's a lot of Stranger Things people in Game of Thrones. I uh, didn't Enzo, know that. the prison guard. He oh plays yeah, I did. I heard. I knew he was in it. I I saw and then an article also, about it. Eddie Munson's in uh, Game of Thrones. He's I didn't seven. know that. Dude, crazy! I was like, what? I like seeing actors really like that in other stuff where you like you see them in their in one element and then you can see them in a different completely different one like Pedro Pascal being in anything that's you know not Star Wars related where he's not wearing not, a full where armor he's suit. Not Mandalorian. Yeah. Dude, they he's perfect for that role, man. He's I'm just saying, great he's for a it. Phenomenal actor. They released a teaser for season three, didn't they? The other day. I saw that, but I didn't watch it. Yeah, it, it was it was crazy seeing him in Game of Thrones because he's like a completely different person. Yeah, I mean, what, you can't ever like, see his face in The Mandalorian, so you forget who it is sometimes. But like in in The Mandalorian, he's very like, yeah, stoic. He's like your your standard hero, and like he's just like a really. Well, good have you seen guy. him as a villain or whatever? He was a villain yeah, in the Wonder 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 Woman movie, right? Yeah, Wonder Woman yeah. eighty four. Um, he's oh, got crap. range. He plays Oberyn Martell in that Game of range. Thrones, and he has a face off with the mountain. And oh, like, like the the strong guy, the yeah, strong Captain man. Dornson, yeah. yeah, he has a face off with him, and they're doing a trial by combat, and it is a crazy, crazy scene because up until that Dude, point, that guy's freaking huge. You see the mountain, like he literally is is doing a jousting competition, and they're fighting, and then they get off the horses. Because the mountain got knocked off his horse. He gets up with this giant sword and he literally lops the head off of the other guy's horse in one swing. It was like a clean cut. <laughs> and I was like, he's an absolute behemoth. He's a monster. But Ober and Martell is from Dorne and they are known for their like fighting style. And dude, he was actually like doing really well. And then he got cocky and then he had his head exploded. Because the mountain just <laughs> grabbed him by his head and squished his head and exploded it. It's a crazy scene. I'll send it I'll send a link in the Discord so you guys can watch it after. But oh, it was like awesome. but yeah, it's really crazy. I've enjoyed that I mean it's a like getting back into like the different because there's a lot of shows that are starting to come back out again right now. Like we're yeah. at a we're back in a wave where there was like nothing for coming out for a while. We're back in a wave of where like we got the, I mean, we have the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power is out right now. I mean, House of the Dragon. House I haven't, Dragon. I haven't watched that's it, out. but I've heard it's real good. Oh man, it's it's pretty good. But I'm saving the. I saw the first episode, and that's what started me on the Game of Thrones journey. Was because I watched it with William Webster. And gotcha. I didn't know anything about what was happening. And he was like, yeah, this is a prequel to Game of Thrones. And I was like, I haven't seen that. And he was like, you should watch it. Oh, so and you went the... back and watched. Yeah. So, uh, gotcha. so literally like the next day I watched, or it was the next week I watched five seasons and each <laughs> of the episodes is an hour long. And Good. I could not, I couldn't stop dude. When I tell you this yeah. show is, is phenomenal. It is really really good well, that's what happens with me in like stranger things that's what happens yeah, like stranger every time things is really good. i, I watch the whole that thing game every time is, game of thrones is on that level it i would i would put it up there with season yeah. four of stranger things yeah and then gears and oberst yeah took off an entire week of school or not school work 
and got the free trial to HBO Max just to watch all of Game of Thrones in a week because he said he wasn't going to pay for it. Worth it. It's so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> it was unbelievable. That's awesome. I, could, I, bet, I, I bet he had a really good time doing it, too. He had to have. I'm pretty... Colin said like he didn't leave the recliner the entire week. That no doesn't reason to who? He, he just sat there and watched his phone. Because he didn't have it on the TV. He watched it all on his phone. It's just a really, really cool universe. And they have, like... You know villains that are so evil that you just... You just like actually hate them like you hate yes. the actor um, because they play a villain yeah that's a good villain there are like 10 of those in game of thrones like people you just absolutely <laughs> despise and you just want them to just suffer in life <laughs> like oh man it's it's bad but there's also a lot of really good storytelling in and that's why game of yeah and that's why i'm excited for like the Andor series that comes out in like a week or yeah, two. I'm ready yeah, I'm ready for Andor because it's it's more Star Wars, but it's a different side of the Star Wars universe, and they're like expanding. I thought Cassian Andor was a badass dude. I thought he was the coolest guy ever. He was so cool. That's I mean, my he favorite was... Star Wars movie is Rogue One. Rogue One is a phenomenal movie, and, and there's a lot of people that say like, oh, they don't it's not even really. I like I it's see it. Dude. I always see it. Like gets it gets decent. Like they re, when they re rank them and stuff. Like it gets decently like respected. But I don't think people realize how good of a movie it was. Like because it's like because like, it's like a Star Wars story. So they weren't expecting it to be. You know, it's not like one of the trilogy movies. So they were expecting it to be near as good as it was. Yeah, but and it was like, so dude, cool. That movie. I would say that's probably like top five movies for oh, me. Oh, it was a phenomenal movie. And I, I would put that above probably all the other Star Wars movies. That's my favorite one. Just because I, of like, I did enjoy it. It's up there for me. It's probably like top three or four. Or the top feel top of three. the movie, yeah. like you really actually feel for the characters, like this is what it's like to be in the rebellion. Like the world is against them. They have no shot and yet they persist and they pull it off. Yep. And whenever you see the end of the movie with that Darth Vader scene. Oh, yeah. The Darth Vader scene was awesome. Dog, that was yeah. probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. And it like it's seamless. So there's a, a clip out there on YouTube where it's the end of Rogue One and the beginning of Episode yep, 4. I've seen and that. And it's literally it's like, 100% It's like perfect. Seamless. Yeah. I've seen that exact It's crazy. Thing. It's, it's pretty insane. I love that. Yeah. It was, I, I would say, it. but like. That's what Great makes job. me excited for like these and or and these other future Star Wars products where they're expanding the Star Wars universe. That's and, what that's what I'm looking forward to. And they're kind of doing it in like the Marvel universe right now too. You're getting more and more like side side stuff going on and you're on like you have East Coast and West Coast Marvel stuff going on. You know the yeah. Avengers are gone now so people are rising up. And I think that like it's just all I like the where they, you know, there's all this content like all this unexplored i mean all the stuff is out there like they wrote the these books these comics all this stuff it's all out there it's just a and matter of cool yeah now it's like now they're really putting yes. in the effort to make all this stuff come to life yes and so now can... they have they have all these untapped stories that they've not used that exactly. they're like oh we can go use these now yeah it's perfect but that's we like in a, yeah we're in a, a perfect spot in time to where we're going to see all this stuff when it drops. Yes. We're going to see all this stuff and experience it in theaters. And we're going to be like, this is great. And, and then 50 years from now, they're going to be like, hey, you guys remember Avengers Endgame? What a movie, huh? <laughs> and then <laughs> and three, three hours later, theaters when, I, when that came out, three hours later, you'll log on to Twitter to see what people are saying about it. And every single one of them will hate it. Yeah. And it's like, Literally. oh my goodness, you didn't even have time to watch the movie. <laughs> it's a three it's a three hour yeah. movie and you posted this two hours after the release time. There's no way yes. you watched it. Dude, yeah. I'll I'll still watch those in game theater reaction videos. Where the whole theater starts cheering. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because that's literally what it was. It, like, I mean that's what it was like in the theater I was in. Like yeah, that, like it freaking erupted, dude. And, and let me tell you something. I think they should put subtitles on the movies just because when people start I watch going eight, everything with subtitles. Yeah, I I can't I yeah. can't watch something if there's no subtitles on. 
because I can't hear for nothing and I can't like and if other people are talking, I, I get really upset. I think it just helps me f- I think it helps me focus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's what it is, is that like when there's no subtitles or anything on my attention like drifts or whatever. It seems like it's in like it's just like background noise if there's no subtitles. Yeah, you know and I mean? so like they, I put the subtitles on. I I do it on the. It's funny because the reason I found found out like that I preferred it that way. I didn't know like until like it's probably been three years ago. I didn't know that I liked watching subtitles, but uh, yeah. I it was probably three years ago when I live. I moved back from Florida and I lived with my grandma for like uh, that year or so. Every night I'd go watch a movie with her, and we'd wa- we watched the entire MCU in order. That's amazing. And so, but she wanted she wanted the subtitles because she doesn't hear well. Like she hears fine, but from the other side of the room and characters like whisper and stuff, there was like no chance she was gonna hear it. And so she's like, "Can we, can we turn the subtitles on?" And I'm like, "Yeah, we'll crank it to seventy and turn the subtitles on. Shut all the lights out, and it'll be like a freaking movie theater with subtitles." Yeah. yeah, and so we watched the entire MCU in order. Yeah, I watched it all with my grandma, and she loves them. What I, what the, what did it for me was, uh, the anime. That's so, what like, I figured. I, I figured I you watched know. it subbed. I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah. So I watch it subbed just because I feel like the voice actors are better because they are. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way it is with all anime. The the American voice actors are like, oh my gosh, but then the <laughs> Japanese people are like. And I'm just like, all right, dude, let them have it. Go on, <laughs> speak your truth. But um, that's that's another thing is there's a lot of really good anime coming out. I mean, Demon Slayer season three is going to be coming out soon. I know you guys don't care or watch that. <laughs> I mean, that I know is... I know enough about it that I like can carry some conversations because I hear people that I like watch, like I watched Tim the Tant Man and them, and they all talk about it all the time, and they have like anime arguments. And so, so I'll good. like I'll hear those and like I understand it, but I don't watch. I've watched the first like seven episodes of Attack on Titan with Nate. Yeah, season one's a little rough on Attack on Titan. I'm it might only lie. be it might only be in five. I don't remember. See, Nate used to sucker me and a- Eric and Jeff into uh, watching anime with him because he would go out. He would take us all to Red Robin and pay for our food, and then he'd so we would watch anime with him. That's really good. And you so then we we turn still take that deal. We'd turn, we turn we we turn we turn anime on. We had an old theater room at the old house that, and we turned anime on and it was like in the shed and we turned the projector on and put Attack on Titan up on the wall. Dude, you I I in really the, wish the that room. I could just show you guys how good some anime is because <laughs> like you would be hooked instantaneously. It's really good. Demon Slayer especially season 2. I've heard a lot of good things about Demon Slayer. I've heard a lot of people like it. I don't know, dude. I'm a big Naruto guy. I literally have a Naruto tattoo on my forearm. But Demon Slayer is better than Naruto. And I never thought I would say anything is better than that. But, like, (laughs) it is. The animation, the story, the fighting, it's all good. All of it. The characters, too. Woo! Good characters. Dude, and guys, we filled an entire hour-long conversation about video games and film. Easy. Video games, film, anime at the end. Had to throw it in there. Yeah, got the anime in there. And we didn't even need Nate to do it. Exactly. Nate, you're fired. <laughs> yeah, except I really don't want to keep hosting this. Like, or, you know, I... Nate, come back and talk more. Yeah. Oh, also, side note, we did promise that there were surprises coming on the next episode, and also that we were going to do a Backrooms episode. Yet neither Back of rooms. those things were this episode, as you Back can tell. Backrooms. That's the surprise. That's the surprise. Gotcha. gotcha. The Backrooms. The, the surprise oh. is that the surprises are still in the future, and they're still not here. The surprise, surprise. is. Soon we're going to go swimming. <laughs> Sheesh. What, Sheesh. Hot tub stream. Pretty much. <laughs> we'll go. see you. We'll see you guys there. Ooh. Ooh. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, stream.